Hi there. Let me ask you a personal question. Is your data crap? Is your data any good or is it crap? C-R-A-A-P. Assessing spatial data quality grows in importance as it grows in volume and diversity and as it becomes easier to access. Research and development on metrics and standards to measure data quality took off during the mid-1990s and thus there's no shortage of evaluation instruments to choose from. Even so, it often is a difficult uh, task to evaluate the quality of a data set you are considering using, isn't it? Well, people in library science really understand data and their implications, and some of the metrics I find most useful come from the library and information science community. My colleague Linda Zelmer, government and information and data services librarian at Western Illinois University, uses a CRAP test. Originally from CSU Chico and based on the CRAP test from LOEX. This is a schema to evaluate information, currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. Get it? C, currency, R, relevance, A, authority, A, accuracy, and P, purpose. When I teach with or about GIS, to get across the point that assessing data quality ultimately depends on metadata, I frequently refer to the FGDC, Federal Geographic Data Committee's Top 10 Metadata Errors document. The document number one identified error is not doing it. If you think that the cost of metadata production is too high, you haven't, com <laughs> you haven't compiled the cost of not creating metadata including the loss of information with staff changes, data redundancy, conflicts, liability, misapplications, and decisions based on poorly documented data. Ouch! In other words, not doing it is the worst part of metadata. Now, one of my favorite papers on this topic, examining measurement standards, comes from Dr. Jingfeng Jia, of Indiana University, who, in his research published in Issues in Science and Technology Librarianship, proposed a set of dimensions for data quality measurement. He discusses measures such as accuracy, consistency, completeness, and integrity, but also accessibility, validity, timeliness, currency, conformance, uniqueness, and others. One of his main points is that both quantitative and qualitative metrics are essential for determining the quality of geospatial data. As my co-author Jill Clark and I point out in the book The GIS Guide to Public Domain Data, it is more important than ever before to document your data and understand what you are using because with each passing day it becomes easier to combine data from an amazing array of sources with opportunity comes responsibility. Thanks.